Hi everyone, just a really quick video on some hints and tips on how to use the new Black 2 um, and just dealing with some of your most common questions really. Things like, can you paint it on your skin? Can you paint your car with it? Uh, what happens if you use it outside? Can you use it like an ink? So I'll deal with all that stuff later. First of all, let me tell you a bit about Black 2. Um, basically what makes it so good is the acrylic binder that's in here is capable of holding more, uh, more pigment than any other acrylic paint. And that binder that's holding the pigment is super mattified, super flat, and super black. Um, so, first of all, how to paint with it. Essentially, it is just acrylic paint, so you're gonna use it just like any other acrylic color. What you'll do is you'll um, squeeze them out, on the, uh, like so, and you'll see straight away that yes, it's very black, but it's also got quite a sheen on it. Now that sheen will start to disappear probably over the next 24 to 48 hours. It cures much slower than you think this stuff. Right, so then what you wanna do is grab yourself your unicorn. These are much more readily available than they used to be. They're not quite that rare a species. Uh, dip in your brush and Something that will really help you actually, that's really important, is this is a really soft brush. The softer the brush, the better, the flatter you're gonna get this, get this paint on. And really just start painting whatever you want with, uh, with, with the black, just like you would any other color. You'll notice straight away that um, it's so concentrated and so pigmented, a little bit of this, goes a really, really long way. We've done a few tests and um, we've worked out one bottle of black will probably cover between one and a half and two meters worth of surface. Um, depending on how porous that surface is, because some surfaces are a bit more thirsty than others and some uh, will need a couple of coats. Okay, so one of the other questions that I've been getting quite a lot is if you're able to coat metal with it, steel. So just to demonstrate that, this is a normal stainless steel spoon and you'll see the coverage is actually pretty amazing. The softer your brush, the better. It's not perfect and I think what I've found is on shiny surfaces, you're gonna really want to give them two, maybe if not three coats. The other thing you can do with this stuff is you can thin it quite a lot with water to create some really interesting, um, really interesting ink-like effects. So because it's so pigmented and we've rammed so much pigment in here, um, it's possible to thin it quite a lot actually without much color loss. So if I just add a bit of water, I'd say roughly, at a guess, that's probably about two to one water to water to black ratio, something like that. And you mix it in and you'll see it's amazing. It really hasn't lost much colour in the dilution, which means a little is gonna go an absolutely long way if you're using it like an ink. And um, you'll see that it really really flows. It's really nice and, and this is going to be good for any of your sort of comic book, illustration type work, anything like that. And uh, there's no reason at all why you can fill up an ink pen or, or a brush pen or something like that with this. Okay, so what you need to do now really, um, before you give your unicorn another coat, is wait for it to dry. Um, grab yourself a cup of tea. I always have mine in the muggiest mug. I find it tastes better. And, uh, and put it to one side and let it dry. While we wait for it to do that, uh, probably for about an hour or so, let's have a quick look at this. This is something I wanted to show you. This was, as we were developing black, we spent a lot of time looking at all the different art blacks that were out, um, particularly acrylic based ones. And what we were looking for obviously was flatness, blackness, and also coverage. The ability to put, put it on something like that and for it to actually stick. So 
We use this aluminium uh, foil sheet. And I'll just give you a quick rundown of these. This was Dulux's Rich Black Mat. And uh, as you can see, it really didn't stick very well. It didn't have much coverage. The Winter and Newton Galleria, very little pigment to base ratio. You can see that the dispersion is, is not good. There's, there's, you see a lot of base and not much color. The generic black acrylic, which I got from Wilkinson's, was actually pretty amazing. The problem with it was it is quite reflective. It's not very matte. Dana Rowney, System 3. Um, it's a thumbs up from me. That is a really, really, really good black acrylic paint. Yes, it's still shiny, but um, really good quality. And for the price, that's good. I recommend that. Um, blackboard paint, standard blackboard paint, doesn't really do anything. It's going to need, what, four or five coats. By the way, these are all one coat. That's really important to know. And that was our first black, black one, beta black. And it was good. I mean, it was a little bit grey. Um, but it was flat, it didn't reflect hardly any light, and it, it went on lovely. And here we have the new black, our blackest black, uh, black too. And you can see it's so black, it's almost like velvet. It's just amazing. Okay, so um, back to our unicorn now. And here's one I made earlier, which is, which is finished. Okay, so one of the other things that's really important to note about this is that the dry time, you want to leave it at least an hour between coats um, just to make sure it's properly set. And the other thing is, it's going to get blacker and flatter and matter over quite a long period of time. So if you sort of leave it overnight, kind of 24 hours, and go and have another look, you're going to be pretty amazed. You can see that um, the spoon's almost dry now and it's ready for another coat. So you can easily build up a few coats um, over a few hours and get a really black, dense surface like that if you want. The other thing is with the watered down version, uh, that'll spray. You can put that in a sprayer, you can spray it on. Again, to get the density of colour, you're going to need quite a few layers. A lot of people have been asking if they can paint their car, paint their bike, something that's going to live outside. And unfortunately, um, the answer is no. This is developed as an art craft material, really, to be indoors. It doesn't like being handled very much. It's not that durable and it's not going to withstand outside. So what you would have to do is you'd have to coat this with um, a coat of matte varnish to protect it. I'll put a link below to a good one that I recommend, but please be aware it is gonna diminish the effect a bit. I've been working on a new coating, a new varnish specifically for this, but it's gonna take a few months to get that right, so we're not there yet. Just one other thing while you're there. This is a mixture of, I don't know, I'd like to say something like 10 to 15% black, to uh, the rest water. So um, if you could come over and have a look in here, you'll see it's basically really watered down black too. And this is gonna work as a dye. So you wanna use warm water, of course, and mix in about 15% to 85% water. Um, and you just, let's see if we can do it, squatch whatever you want to dye into it and uh, leave it to soak in for a while. It works pretty well, it's quite nice. Um, I'll be honest, I think there are better clothes dyes out there. And if you're looking for a super black void style t-shirt, you might actually be better off just painting the acrylic straight on the t-shirt. And um, yeah, but it will go a bit stiff. Uh, okay, other questions just really quickly. Uh, the health and safety thing, that's really important. So a lot of people are asking me, can you paint your body with this stuff? Will it work as a body paint? So my advice is, it's not a very good idea, but if you absolutely must paint your body with it, don't get it in your eyes and please don't get it too close to your mouth. You don't really want to ingest any. Um, don't leave it on your skin for too long. Two to three hours, you're gonna be okay. And don't do it every day. Do it once every couple of weeks. 
I would definitely advise that you put down a barrier cream. I'll put a link below to a barrier cream which you rub in. That will moisturise your skin anyway and it will create a barrier that stops the pigment soaking in. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. But um, thank you so much for trying out the black. As always, I love seeing what you make out of the stuff. So please, please, please share your work with the hashtag share the black. Let me know how you get on. Thank you. Bye.